Hi, I'm Carol with Garmin, and welcome to our virtual AirVenture Oshkosh experience. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our portable solutions that Garmin has to offer. From ADS-B in solutions to compact satellite communicators, Garmin has something that will make your life a little easier and your flight a little smoother. So we're going to go ahead and start with the D2 Delta. The D2 Delta is Garmin's premium GPS aviator watch. I say aviator watch because it has a ton of aviation-specific features directly on the watch itself. For example, as you can see, the watch face here, it is fully customizable and you can change it to whatever screen you want. But the one that comes out of the box already has an altimeter setting, has Zulu time, along with the date and time itself. With the press of a button, you can go right into all of the aviation options. So for example, right now, we're on fly. If I press that, it shows us our nearest airport, which is KOJC, the bearing, estimated time of, a, of in route, distance, and track. All of these are also customizable. You can go in and change them to whatever you feel you want to see at that time. By going down, you can see that this screen also has a fully colored dynamic map. And you can see get next rad weather on the map itself when you're connected through your phone. If I go back to the navigate option, there are plenty of navigate features and aviation features. As you can see, we have flight planning. You can actually transfer a flight plan from your Garmin navigator or Garmin pilot directly into the watch and vice versa. You can see your points of interest that are around you, courses, round trip course, activities, any saved locations, site and go, coordinates, you can use the map and see what's around you. So as you can see, there's plenty of different features that this watch has to offer just for flying. In addition to this, we have the direct to feature, which if you're at the home screen and you just press and hold this top button, you can go in and actually enter in an airport or a waypoint that you want to go direct to. There is also an option, as you saw earlier, for the nearest head KOJC. You can, should you need to, be able to find the nearest in just a few button clicks and be able to fly direct to it. So in addition to the aviation options, there's a lot of fitness options as well. This watch has automatically loaded profiles for items such as swimming, running, biking, yoga, golfing. All of those are already loaded in here and you can keep track of that. The watch itself also has a variety of additional features such as Garmin Pay. You can go and do contactless pay just through your phone. Also, music controls. So you can control the music from your phone or your iPad through your watch. And you can also load up to 500 songs directly on the watch. So that way, say you want to go running and you don't have, you don't want to take your phone with you. You can just listen to the music synced up via Bluetooth on your headset. In addition, you can go into your cockpit. If you have a Bluetooth audio panel, you can connect directly to it and listen to music that way as well. So all of these, I mentioned the fitness features, all of these watches, the D2 Delta, have heart rate monitors on them, wrist-based heart rate monitors. So this is the D2 Delta. This has a 47 millimeter screen, so it's a little larger than what I'm wearing right now, which is the D2 Delta S. It also has a heart rate monitor. It's just smaller at a 42 millimeter screen. And we also have the larger version, the D2 Delta PX, which includes a pulse ox sensor as well. So next we're gonna talk about our GDL52 series. These are our portable ADS-B and Sirius satellite receivers. So we have three different models in the GDL52 series, the GDL50, 51, and 52. The 50 is just an ADS-B end receiver, which means you get to see subscription-free FISB weather and traffic, and that will show directly on some of our portable devices, like the 660, Garmin Pilot, or the 760. So in addition to traffic, Garmin has patented target trend and terminal traffic. So what that means is the target trend will actually calculate the velocity of the other aircraft and it'll pinpoint on the screen where it, that traffic will be at a specific time. The terminal traffic is when you're actually on an airfield, it'll show all of the ADS-B out uh, aircraft and equipment that are on the field. So that gives you a lot more situational aware awareness when you're on the field. 
So the GDL-51 is a serious satellite receiver that will is a subscription-based feature, but you can get weather internationally, which is one of the great features of Sirius. So while FISB is in the United States, if you're flying to Canada or Mexico, you can actually still get your weather through Sirius. And you can also get audio uh, subscription. So if you want to listen to music while you're flying, you can receive that through the GDL-51. The GDL-52 is just combining both best of both worlds. You get your satellite radio, your satellite weather, and you get all the FISB weather and traffic. So you have weather, traffic, and audio all in one box, and that's the GDL-52. So I mentioned how the GDL-52 series will send weather and traffic and the audio over to some of our portables and Garmin Pilot. So I'd like to introduce you to the Aris 660. This is one of our smaller portable devices. It's a five inch screen, fully touch screen, and it has a lot of features and capabilities on it. We just released the Aris 760 this year, which is a seven inch screen. So we're gonna go ahead and show you those features on the 760. So as you can see, the 760 is a larger seven inch screen compared to the 660. Um, we just released this this year and we've had some wonderful feedback on it as well. One of the greatest things about this is the sunlight readable display, meaning that if, say, you have a canopy cockpit, you never have to worry about the fact that the sun is beaming directly on it. You'll always be able to see everything that you need on this screen at all times. So these boxes have plenty of options on them. And we'll go through a couple of them real quick, but you do see that you have your movable map and you can customize the different options that are on the screen itself. So on this one here, we have the distance to the next um, waypoint, our ground speed, our VSR, and the ET estimated time and route to the next um, waypoint. So I say all that because you can actually go in here and create your active flight plan and put in different waypoints, see all the information for the upcoming um, airports that you're gonna be going to, and you go direct. You can also go direct to um, the nearest airport should you need to with just a touch of a button. Again, also with these flight plans, one of the good things about all of our portable options, including Garmin Pilot, is if you have Connect, which is um, the ability to transfer your flight plans directly to a navigator that's already in your aircraft. So you can go at home and create a flight plan, put it in your portable, put it in your Garmin Pilot, and then send it directly to your navigator on your airplane within seconds. So you can see that we have weather options, terrain, traffic, go into tools, you've got weight and balance calculations, your E6B. So really this box gives you everything you need in order to plan and execute your flight. One of the newest features that we have on these is that you can also enter uh, procedures, approaches, arrivals, departures, through the flight plan as well. So that's a great new feature that we have with the Aeros 760. So on the iPad here, we have Garmin's application, Garmin Pilot. Garmin Pilot runs on both iPads and Androids. So if you're watching this and you're wondering if this will work on an Android device, it will. So some of the features I wanna talk about today, um, the first thing is that we just recently are able to integrate with flightplan.com. So if you are a flight plan user, you can integrate seamlessly using Garmin Pilot now. But really the setup here is a split screen. So this, the benefit of using Garmin Pilot is if you don't have a larger screen in your cockpit or you want an additional screen for backup, this is a fantastic way to see um, your flight plans, see your waypoints, see all of that information. Same as we talked about the 760, but right there on your iPad. So some of the things I wanted to touch base on, like we talked about earlier, the GDL50 will allow you to see weather and traffic directly on the screen. Same thing with our portable devices. And you can also do um, flight plan transfers to any Garmin pilot, um, I'm sorry, any Garmin uh, devices in your aircraft. And you can create and file, amend, and close your flight plans directly from Garmin Pilot. So that's one of the different features. If you're wondering what's the difference between the two here, is this one has a fantastic screen, but this one gives you the option of dealing with your flight plans should you choose to do that. Um, in addition here, we talked a little bit about the synthetic vision and 3D vision. So I, there are two different options. The 3D vision um, will display on some of the options that um, or some of the devices, and we'll show an aircraft in the middle, but it'll simulate a 3D um, version of the terrain around you. So that way you can see that, you know, if there's mountains, you'll see that on your screen. But it won't show you any of the AHARS information. That's where having one of the GDL52 series devices comes in. 
that'll allow you to actually have AHARs and show your pitch, your roll, your bank, all of that directly on the screen. If you're climbing, it's climbing. And it'll also simulate and show all of the um, terrain as well. It'll show obstacles and it'll show traffic right here on one screen. So that's a really great feature of Garmin Pilot. In addition, um, we have the logbook feature. So the D2 can also do this as well, but depending upon the speed and the altitude of which you are flying, um, when you take off or when you land, it'll actually automatically calculate that flight for you and log it in Garmin Pilot. Another feature that if you've watched any of your other show or other episodes, the GI275 EIS will actually monitor all of your engine systems. So say you're flying over a lake and you hear a certain sputter, you know exactly where you were, you know when you were in your flight. But if you're like me, you go see your technician and all of a sudden everything works great, you can actually reference exactly where you were and what happened. It'll show all of your engine parameters directly on Garmin Pilot. So you can hand that to your dealer and say, this is what I'm talking about. This is the issue I had. And it'll help them troubleshoot just a little bit better. So just these are very high level scenarios I wanted to talk about. For more information, we do offer fantastic seminars for the Garmin Pilot. So keep an eye out for our Garmin Pilot 101 for the beginner user, or if you just want to learn something new. And we also do Garmin Pilot tips and tricks. So last but not least is our InReach Mini. This little device is our compact satellite communicator, which allows you to contact our Iridium network anywhere you are all around the world. You can use this for text messaging in the air or while you're out hiking. It'll allow you to get weather information. It leaves breadcrumb trails, so whether you're flying or you're taking a trail, you can leave breadcrumbs of where you were. And one of the biggest features of InReach is that it connects you directly to a rescue system should you need it. On the side is one press button for SOS. It'll connect you to responders, first responders, send them your GPS location and allow them to come to you at any point should you need it. So if you have any other additional questions on any of these products we talked about today, please feel free to contact your dealer or visit Garmin.com.